Hi everyone and welcome to my small craft studio tour. Now I've just revamped an area in my house. It was a garage but we've built some walls up inside, made it into my very own studio. Now you will see the building of this room on my channel on a different video that's been up for a little while but I will link that down below for you. And this is kind of the tour with all the organisation and storage in instead now. I'm going to try and run through all my storage tips and tricks that I've got here and do let me know in the comments if you can think of any others that might help me out in here. So many of you know that I've been renovating my house for a while. A little clue to that is we have walls that look a bit like this but the studio is done. Now we do have a secret opening into this and it is obviously designed to look like a bookshelf or bookcase and then we go into the studio. So here's a little overview of the studio at the moment. And I'm going to be covering each and every one of my storage boxes, organisers, everything. So I think we're going to start over here at the desk area. So as you can see, when I sit at my desk, I can have the windows open. I can see out the front of my house, people walking past when my kids come home, things like that. Or I can close the door that's in front of them on the outside and that blocks it all in so people can't see in. Now, because this is not only a craft studio, but also a filming and recording studio, I obviously have a large computer here. I have a camera that's down onto the top of my desk. I have another camera just here that's looking at me. And then I also have this arm. This is actually really handy because I can bring in another camera anywhere I need over my desk at an angle uh, or my phone if I choose to do that. So they're really handy. As for speakers or microphones, I actually use the ones in the cameras. They're really good. Now lighting in here, my husband is an electrician. He put in a number of daylight bulbs for me in the ceiling, but he also installed these really fun side lights. Now what this means is that obviously when I've got my window closed and the sun's not coming in, on my desk when I'm working with my hands down, it actually eliminates any of the shadows. Like I say, today we've got the sunlight coming in, but I can close that as I need for when I'm filming. So these are actually really, really helpful. And again, it's daylight, so it doesn't interfere with the white balance on my videos. So now to storage. And if you look under my desk, I've actually got here a uh, hobby craft tote that I can pull out. Now this basically has everything on it that I need. All those essential tools that I come to all the time. So all my scissors, my pokey tools, my uh, mats, my most used glues, although I have thousands of glues. Uh, in the middle, besides some treats that you can see there, I actually have a box with my stamping platforms in. This also has uh, any other stamping tools. I have a hairbrush because, you know, I do do lots of videos. <laughs> um, my cropper dial, some more scissors in there. And underneath are either projects that I've got to get on with and do or um, my notebooks as well. So this is kind of just admin stuff almost. Um, underneath my desk here, so let's come down this way. I've actually got some more storage down here. Now my desk is actually an old piece of worktop and it's sitting on uh, three shelving units, two of them facing the other way. I've got a lot of my cutting mats under here. This is a fun piece that we used on Craft Stash video just recently. This is actually my scrap section. All of this is my scraps. So these are separated into paper magazine files, into colours, um, and I just find them so, so helpful to have everything literally uh, within arm's reach when I'm working because I tend to go for scraps more than I go for large sheets of cardstock. Now, I've also got white, black and craft cardstock here. Underneath are just a couple of extras. So, for example, this one has got um, just some ink pads in there, things like that. Uh, kind of storage that I don't go to very often. Now, this is one of my, um, probably my most fun storage items here. This is two uh, magnetic knife uh, blocks, knife holders that are for the kitchen, but they hold my nesting dies. Now, again, these are my most used nesting dies. They're not all of my stash. I've got hundreds of different shapes and sizes, um, different designs as well. But these are the ones I kind of go to the most. I've got basic squares, basic circles, basic hexagons, a couple of different rectangles. Uh, I just popped a few little stars on the bottom there. Now you may notice as well that I haven't got a skirting board yet. That's one thing that is left to do in here but otherwise the office is finished. 
Now, uh, on my desk, I have this really cool little plastic holder. It was just a sticky holder. This holds my, again, most used ink pad. So my black one, so Memento, Versafine, um, my embossing um, inks as well. Things like stays on in black. I've got my heat tool and my glue gun. And then just again, things like hand cream, lip gloss, a bit of mascara if I do have to do a close up video. Uh, I've got my Big Shot. This is the machine that stays on my desk nearly all the time. I do have other machines, we'll see those in a moment, um, but this is the one that I use 99% of the time, so it stays up here. This little box, which I love because it colour coordinates, is my wet wipes in there. Uh, obviously, I've just got my computer things up here, just above my desk. This is actually this is actually a kitchen towel holder, so I've got my kitchen towel on it for when I'm doing mixed media projects, but I've also got, again, my most used reels of adhesive. A couple of additional just metal tins here. I haven't actually got anything in these yet, uh, so yeah, that's still to come. Now, as we move around, lots of you will have seen previously, I did do a tutorial on this a long time ago, my ink blending uh, or my distress inks and my blending brushes. So my blending brushes are both to the left and the right of me as I sit at my desk. And I found these cute little shelves uh, just on Amazon. They came in packs of four, I believe, for about eight pounds, something like that. So what I've done is I've put one for each row of my blending brushes and do you know what? I don't worry that these are not in order with the brushes I just know that within them six the brushes there somewhere it works for me within everything in my craft studio it's what works for me and how I craft. So then coming from my desk behind me I've then got my Billy bookcase. At the very top there, we've got some really pretty mint coloured boxes. I have labelled as much as possible and I've found this so helpful. So I have embossing powders, waxes, so things like gilding waxes. Um, I've got my small ink pads, which are like my teardrop ones, cat's eye ones. Mediums is anything from gesso, uh, texture paste, things like that. I've got glitter and flakes, gelatos. These two flowery boxes here, I haven't actually labelled them, but I know I've got my six by six inch papers. Well, I have labelled them, but I've actually labelled them on uh, the other side. Six by six papers and I've got my uh, dot mandala tools in another one. I just love these. I love watercolour and I just love anything in rainbow order. So I just thought they're really fun to put there to kind of fill in what was otherwise a blank space there. Now, this is where I store, again, my most used Samson dies. OK, so I've got five boxes here. Um, so backgrounds is basically anything that's a background pattern. Alphabets is pretty much as it says on the tin, although I've got lots of these. A lot of them you'll see. I'll show you where they are in a moment because they're actually separated into a different category. Lots and lots of floral stamps and dies and lots of scent. Well, you can see. Here, how many sentiments I've got eventually I hope to fill these up so that they all stand up nicely like this under here I've then got Christmas now I laminated these front sheets and for this reason I could then stick any stamps on if I don't have time to put them away and then I know they go in that box they're stuck there and I will put them away next time I come to them obviously didn't tidy up before I did this video because I just thought you know what it's a working craft room so I've got my Cricut there as well, kind of on display because um, I do bring it out now and then, but not as much as I used to. My trimmer stays there, my scoreboard stays there. So while I'm sitting at my desk, this is all behind me within arm's reach. In here, nothing too exciting in here. Uh, I do have my card bases. Now I've split these into uh, rectangles and squares. And then down here, I've got my large card bases. Now, a lot of the time I use five by seven card blanks. But I found a great ways to buy them at 10 by 7 inches and cut them in half. Uh, this is from Craft Stash. I'll try and link that down below as well. So I store those there. This is another one of my boxes that doesn't fit on top. This is just, just accents, just kind of image stamps and dies. So anything that's a picture, um, a border, not a background basically. So there's an awful lot in there, all different brands in there as well. Spare heat tool, some alcohol pens. This is kind of all my alcohol section and not the alcohol section that you're thinking about. I've got lots of alcohol pens in, in here as well. I'm hiding away. These are new to Craft Stash. I've also stored in here, just because I know they're in here then, things like my stays on cleaner because it's kind of that solvent alcohol base. The same with these alcohol wipes as well. Um, and I've got my alcohol lift ink. To me, it just makes sense to keep them together because it's all like I say solvent alcohol I know where they are so although I don't necessarily use these items with my alcohol pens 
I just know. I just remember where they are. Then down the bottom, I have got this trug is great because I can pull it out. I have got patterned papers of all different shapes and sizes. And behind it there, I've also got lots of 12 by 12 ones as well. I like to make my own pattern paper so I don't come to those very often. These are a couple of uh, magazine files that need sorting since I've moved into my craft studio. There's all sorts in here, but they are mostly specialty papers. I really need to kind of divide them. So we'll just ignore those today. Now to the other side, I've got my IKEA pegboard, which I love. It's actually, to be honest, it's more for decoration. It's really pretty. I do use the blending brushes and the ink sometimes, but I don't come to a lot of it very often. It's just for display purposes. I purposely ordered these uh, wooden blocks when I uh, first knew that I was having my own craft room, designing a new one. They're printers, letters, printers blocks. I just love them and I'm not sure how I'm going to display them yet. They're not going to sit there forever. Uh, just a cute little mug for no reason. It's empty, it's clean. Um, this is my A4 full sheet cardstock. Okay, so I've got all different brands here. This is where I reach to when I do need a full sheet of cardstock. Um, some Lots of paintbrushes, all the paintbrushes you can possibly imagine. Kind of in the back there are the used ones that are dried up that I'm then going to use on a project as it is. These are my working ones, really. Um, obviously, my Distress Ink tins as well. Above these, I have got my pots of pens. I've started labelling them. I don't come to these as often anymore because I don't do my brush lettering much, but I do still love to use them, particularly for colouring stamped images. So these are on IKEA containers. Uh, I didn't have the IKEA bar. I actually lost that a long time ago, about two craft rooms back. Um, but I found, <laughs> I found in a supermarket amongst their recycling um, bin outside, someone had put this cardboard tube in. So I sprayed it white and put it on with a couple of hooks and it, it works. So there we go. Recycle and reuse. Here's a distress chart. Now you'll find this on my website. This is free for you to download. I've just laminated it, stuck it on my wall. I've just got all the distress colours there at a glance that I can see. So it's really handy. They're just behind there, if anyone's wondering, that's actually my um, fuse board. So really not very exciting. But like I say, my husband's an electrician, so he deals with that. Down the side here, I've got a couple of more magazine holders and these have got, again, specialty papers. I've got flower forming foam in the bottom and I've got fabric paper, coloured fabric paper in the top. Some of that is new, not released products, so I can't really show you that just yet. But inside here, I then have, uh, again, these are lots of things I don't really come to very often. Um, but I do have all my stencils in this really lovely mint coloured metal container. So stencils of all different brands. Uh, these are just kind of fixing. So I've got paper clips, batteries, magnets, all the sort of stuff you put in a junk drawer really in there. These are lots of my um, distress brushes. Uh, either need cleaning, have been cleaned, old ones that I'm not using, some new ones in there. This ink pad dried up. I don't know why it was almost dry when I first received it. So it's just sitting in there. Down here, I've got um, these. These two folders actually are as, as old as my son. They're sort of going on 15 years old. This one, I, I'll have to show you this because if you've been crafting a long time, this might bring back some memories. This one is actually full of all my old sentiment stamps. You can see they're so old, they've started going yellow. I've got things from Technic Tuesday in here. I could never bring myself, despite the fact that they've aged, uh, I couldn't bring myself to get rid of these. I've got Ali Edwards in here. Just so, I used to do a lot of scrapbooking and I used these more then. Um, but yeah, I've got so many sentiment stamps. It's actually disgusting that I don't use them as much, but I will never throw them out. And then the same, let me move. This is another one of those boxes. It's all specialty cardstock, board, fabric paper all sorts of different random papers and things in there so that one is another one that needs sorting out with the other two but in here again very similar all my old stamps i think that's upside i'm not upside down but back to front uh, so we've got some old new stamps in here these really could do with being separated um into categories in different storage but this is how i started this is how i used to store my stamps in these sort of albums and this is these are just really old ones look here we've got uh studio 490 there um this is just how i used to store them for years and years but that one's not even in a pocket or if it is it's, i think it's fallen out of there look um but again this is just 
it's just I love it there's so much here and I'll probably very rarely come back to those but you know it just it's just memories isn't it <laughs> crafting a long time ago now this is my uh, second or third adhesives box this is my spare spare box Actually, this might be my spare box. So this is um, where I keep adhesive that I don't come to very often. You can see there's a stray roll of tape there. Uh, at the back, there's a large circle template. This is, I said to you about having nesting dies. Again, before I got the studio, this is how I would store my nesting dies in this sort of little album. They're all muddled up. Again, this is something that needs um, sorting out, as is this. This whole folder here is full of nesting dies. Okay, so now moving further down the craft room, I've got, um, obviously I've got a colour wheel here, just helps me with inspiration sometimes. Uh, I have got my distress swatch chart. This is something, so this is one, this is a chart that you can download on my website again, completely for free. Uh, you'll have heard me talk about that in lots of my videos. Now these are all my swatches that were created when I did my distress ink and oxide colour combination videos there's hundreds of them and at the top here you'll see I've still got more that I need to laminate I do write on the backs of them each time so I know what colours they are um, but I am gradually going through scanning and um, copying these and editing them into my blog with all the wording with them so the names of the inks on them as well so that you can see all these swatches and you can use them that is taking me a very long time, but they will be there eventually. So moving round, because above my desk here, I have, this is full of embossing folders. These are all my trimmers, stamp platforms and scoreboards. There's a few new products from Creative Craft Products in there that um, I can't show you, they've not released yet. At the top just there, you see I've got a little bit of storage, I've got a couple of trays that I don't know what I'm doing with yet. I'll store them somehow. I've got my hot foiling items, my Prismacolor pencils, a couple of frames, just decor, alcohol inks. I don't have a huge selection of those at the moment, so they're in a metal tray. The blue tray is all of my kind of altered things, so clipboards, uh, door hangings, MDF shapes, things like that. Uh, my pencil case on top, which has lots of specialty drawing items. Uh, these are props. So these are props that I can use for photography. We'll come to photography in a moment. Now in here are all my Papercraft Society items. These are the most recent wallets and the most recent boxes as well. I've got new ones to add to that, but I thought I better not spoil the surprise if you are a subscriber. The door's a bit broken on that one, so I need to just uh, do something with the hinges in there, but it's fine, it's all stored away nicely. Uh, here I've actually got a plastic jewellery tree and this holds all of my stencil brushes really nicely. These again are my Creative Craft product stencil brushes so these work really nicely just hanging on there. In the back there you'll see my Distress inks in one of the Laser Smith MDF storage solution storage um, units. That fits really nicely inside my Calax, as you see. The inks I don't come to very often at all now, so that's why they're in there. And then I've got a few more blending things, so daubers, some of my brushes and such in there. The next unit along is crochet. I do love to crochet, so I've got two um, boxes there completely dedicated to that. One again is laser smith storage. This one is um, just a box with all, all sorts of hooks and different things in. These scissors don't actually work anymore, but they're not very good, but they look beautiful. And I've got a couple of uh, books there. In here are Cricut things. So Cricut, any sort of um, electronic cutting machine. So mats, wires, I've got my joy in there, vinyl, any tools. Along here, this is a bit of an odd one. This is one of those units that doesn't really have a place yet. I've got some vinyl down the bottom, some of my larger ribbon spools in there and some envelopes and a We Are Memory Keepers letter punch at the top. But this one kind of feels a little bit bitty, like there's not much in there, not really much going around. Now, talked about photography. I said at the top there, I've got a box of, uh, these are basically faux flowers, uh, a book, I've got an old telephone up there, plants, metal embellishments. Some of these I use for photography, which is all here. Now I do have an old camera just for display here as well. But this is my photography box on the side here, along with my Harry Potter lamp. I've actually got a switch so I can turn this on. As you see, the light comes on. Obviously, I take this camera out. I don't use this camera, I actually use my phone. But I pop my cards in there and take photos of them there. Uh, and then I've got also a box of props down here but we'll come to all this area in a little while so just turn that off 
Um, before we get to the Kallax boxes, I've got this second desk. Now this desk was intended to kind of do maybe messy work here or to come and do my video editing away from the messy area, which would be here. I've actually found since creating this that I'm using this desk all the time. Everything's to hand. I've not once sat here. So I'm thinking that this desk will actually, I'll actually remove the desktop and just have the storage that's underneath instead. The only thing this is actually at the moment good for, besides displaying my beautiful rainbow inks, uh, is my sewing machine, my brother scan and cut, and my extra uh, die cutting machines as well. But they could all sit on top of the other storage. So, you know, we'll see. So coming to the Calax here, we've got um, some more, more um, A4 storage papers here. So these, oh no, sorry I lied, these are 12 by 12 shows how often I come here. I don't use 12 by 12 as often anymore as when I was scrapbooking more often, but they're all here if I do need them for larger projects. Then these are more of my A4 um, papers, but obviously not to hand. So I've kind of split them. So half of them are here, half of them are to hand right near me. But if I can't find a colour over here, I'm likely to find it here or in the 12 by 12. Then I start getting into um, some of my products. I mean, first I've got platforms, old stamping platforms, smaller trimmers again, ones I don't use very often or ones I've got two or three of. My magazines here, and I do have to clear this out regularly. I get all the practical publishing magazines every month. So I do have to go through those quite regularly and have a clear out, give them to the care home uh, so that I don't have too many in there at a time. These two boxes are product. Um, a lot of this is new. These are my licensed products. So, for example, things like Bagpuss, things like um, uh, Sooty, things like Peanuts as well, Alice in Wonderland, or um, William Morris, anything that Craft Sash do that's a license, they go in there. Under this desk, this is again, it's not much that's pretty. It's just storage at the moment. So I've got my props. These are a lot of these are, as you can see, Christmas props, for example, berries, all sorts in there that I can use for photography. Spray paints in here. Um, I've got copy paper. I've got my laminating machine, my sewing bag there. Um, I've got some more alcohol pens and so on. So I've got my label making machines down the bottom here. And at the top, I've got things like watercolour paper and cardstock. And then as we come over here, so let's come to the back of the door. Now these letters were from an, an old neighbour. She was giving them away for free and I just love them. I absolutely love them. My husband thinks they're pointless. I just think they're absolutely beautiful and they just sit there so nicely. I am not a big ribbon fan. I'll admit I'm not a huge ribbon fan, but I do have some. So I've stored them like this on the back of my door. So I've got blues, reds and twine and neutrals. That's as much as I need. I very, again, very rarely. I actually come to the twines a lot more than anything else. On the top of this Calax unit, I do have all my alcohol, not alcohol, sorry, acrylic paints. And I've got all my sprays, my enamel dots, things like that. This, I do want to grow these a lot. So I'm probably going to be ending up having shelving actually on this wall, much larger, but we'll see when we come to it. Now these boxes are all of the, what we call the co-brand product from Craft Stash. So SMC is Simply Made Crafts, MTS is Made to Surprise and so on and so forth. I've got Creative Craft Products, I've got Paper Discovery, I've got Sheena, there's all sorts in here. That They all go in there, they're like the newer product though. I have an old filing cabinet in my conservatory for old, old product that is now discontinued. And then eventually they go to charity. This section is my textures collections and this is why you don't see many of the textures items in the stencil box, in my embossing folder box, things like that because they're all kept within the collections. I love these. I'll, I will link these. These are on Amazon so they are five, five drawers plus the black um, kind of outer case and the handles. I don't know between 20 and 30 pounds, 25 pounds, something like that. And they're just genius. I love them. And they, of course, they do stack too. So absolutely fantastic. And then really lastly from my storage is the units that my desk are kind of sitting on. Um, this has more boxes again, but then I have my watercolours. So all my watercolour paints, my favourite paper, jars, palettes. 
I have these. This is my other adhesives box. So again, more adhesives, spare adhesives in there. Um, card making magic, my gel plate and associated items with that. So brayers and such. Embellishments is a very messy box, as you can imagine. Embellishments covers all sorts. I've got, let's have a look in a little delve in here. Look at this, absolutely crazy. Needs a big sort out, but do you know what? If I need an embellishment, I know that it's in there. And this box that says cards here are all my cards that I've created for videos, for craft stash. I keep them for a while before I donate them um, or recycle them either way. This trolley here, again, I'll link this on Amazon. It's an absolute godsend. It comes actually with uh, the other two sections there that I don't have on at the moment. But this stores secondary craft items for when I need to go away. If I'm going anywhere like Create and Craft, for example, I will have this with me. And that's got everything. It's got all my tools in the top, papers and such, trimmers and that in the bottom and everything, embellishments in the other containers. At the minute, I've got a lot of sort of computing items in there, wires, chargers, boring things like that. So I think that is my entire craft room that I've shown you. Um, lots of different storage solutions. Um, if there's anything I've missed out, you've seen and you're wondering what it is, please do shout, let me know and I'll tell you. Um, but I think I've covered everything. Hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know which is your favourite of the uh, crafting storage solutions and if you've got a link to a studio tour of your own i'd love to see it let me know in the comments take care everybody i'll see you again very soon